Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to episode 6 of my Minecraft 1.18 chill hardcore survival let's play. So, in today's episode, we're going to be doing a number of things. One, starting farms. I We need food. It's episode 6 and we have no sources of food. Um, aside from the things I've scavenged from surrounding villages and some starting spawn animals. Um, three, I would like to add a couple more palm trees to the island. Um, I'm just taking down the palm trees that all got bone milled, and then hopefully we'll have enough to, like, you know, get more for more palm tree stuff. But yeah, we built our first palm tree last episode. We also did a number of other things, like built a dungeon spawner, so if you want to go check that stuff out, make sure you didn't miss episode five. And, uh, yeah, this place is becoming a little bit, uh, tropical. It's getting humid here or something. I'm gonna add a bunch of plants to the island, but this is the first type, so let me finish doing what I was doing here, and then we'll get on with the farms. And then, I think in tomorrow's episode, probably gonna fill in all this stuff, which is gonna be nice, because this thing's completely empty. It's not gonna be like that hardcore series season before this one, where my house was empty for most of it, because I, I mean, actually all of it, I never really filled that house in. It was because it was too big, and this is like the perfect and nice medium. And uh, of course, I want to add like a dock in front of it. I have so many plants. I want to build some floating airships. Not not airships. Some floating balloons over there. Um, I want to build my own pirate ship with stuff in it. I don't know if it's going to be a real pirate ship or just a normal looking sailboat. I have no idea. But oh my gosh, I got so many cool things I want to do, guys. So many cool things. Nice. Okay, so we definitely got enough saplings to hopefully multiply trees again when we so wish. We got 20 of them, and uh, we have a little bit of leaves left over from this palm tree. This palm tree only took like half of a stack of leaves, which is actually a lot less than I thought. We do have a lot of jungle wood, which is what we're going to be building our dock out of. We're going to be doing floating farms. Like, we're not doing traditional, you know, plain Jane farms. We're doing something special. Um, obviously, because this is a pretty special world. So I'm going to grab a bunch of jungle logs. I don't know how many we're going to need. Uh, I do know we're going to need to go get dirt, and dirt is not a fun resource to watch gather, but I'm going to go need to get a ton of it. So I'm going to grab some iron, probably three shovels worth. I mean, I, I really don't know how much to get. I just know that I'm going to need an absolute absurd amount of iron. It's just something that... Let's see, how many do we need for that? Four? Yeah, no, just grab five sticks. Yeah, that's... <laughs> We need four. Grabs five. That's not... Oh, okay. You know what? It was trying to tell me something. It said I, I needed two extra. But it could only get one in before being complained at. Okay, so that should be enough. Um, I don't... Again, I don't know, like, exactly how much dirt we're gonna get, but probably enough to fill up our inventory in here like this. I'm gonna make sure that I only pick up dirt. And I am going to go fill my inventory up. Now, I don't know where. We'll at least find a spot together, and then I'll do the actual... Do the dirty work. <laughs> literally off camera because it's not yeah dirt excavation is not something that you know even in a chill series you really want to see a whole lot of let's find a place that's flat i'm not going to dig up any grass and if i do i'll kind of fill it in but let's find a place that's relatively flat let's see how flat is this up here not too flat this is pretty flat so we can dig a big room over here so all we got to do come over here make a little staircase downwards go to where the bottom of the dirt is so like it looks like right here and then it looks like we can mine... Yeah, we can mine quite a bit of dirt like this. Okay, I'll be back. I'll do a little time lapse of some of it, and then I'll do the rest off. Oh, jeez. Okay, I think this might be enough. I'll be honest with you. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> I can't mine any more dirt. I've been mining it. It feels like forever. And, uh, yeah, if, if, if we, uh, let all the dust settle here, I think this is probably enough dirt for our farms. So, let's go explore the nearby village. Let's just hope that it's not night, because if it is, we'll have to run back home hastingly. Is it night? Uh, might be getting close. Looks like the sun is pretty low. Yeah. So, we should probably go back home for just a moment. And we're going to go to the village, scout out, see if they have some beets, some potatoes, and some carrots. Because, obviously, I know we have wheat seeds. Uh, but I do not think we ever got any beet, potato, or carrot seeds. I know the potato and carrot don't have seeds, but you know what I mean. Let's just go see. We'll, we'll run into our house here and just check. Because we might have, and I forgot. It's completely possible. But I'm not sure. Okay, we have beet seeds. We don't have any potatoes, and we don't have any carrots. I'm looking through both eyes here trying to find the stuff, but I don't think we have it. It's good that we have all this dirt, though. Like, really good. I'm going to... In fact, I'm going to... Mm, 
I'm gonna put it all in this chest for now. I may regret doing that actually, I don't know. <laughs> Let's just sleep. All right, it's a fresh new day. I still don't know what our name for the island is gonna be. Leave idea names or name ideas in the comments down below. Um, I won't see them until episode nine because I record these in like four block segments. So every, or four episode segments, every four episodes are usually recorded in one burst. Um, if there's ever three episodes and there's not one on Wednesday, then those three were recorded in a burst. Basically, something like that. Again, I, there's going to be four episodes this week. So just be aware, there will be one in the middle of the week on Wednesday to get you over that hump. Get some Neo-Cubist in your day. Hopefully get you out of that Wednesday funk. I don't know. Maybe it'll help. Maybe it won't. If it does, good. If it doesn't, okay. But yeah, we need to get carrots. That's what we don't have. Carrots and potatoes. Now, usually those spawn in villages, and there's a ton of villages around here. I think I see carrots, but I don't see potatoes, but this is only the first farm that we've found So that's actually a pretty good sign here. I will take your carrots. Thank you very much uh, I don't want to trample your farm though. I feel kind of bad doing that That's a little much for me, but I will take the carrots 31 carrots is more than enough for me I think those are carrots too Okay, now do you have any potatoes over here any potatoes? Oh, you, you look pretty cool Might have to get a saddle come get you these are all the carrots. Okay, there's some beets over here. I actually don't mind getting some beets. That was a potato. That was a potato. There's two potatoes in there in total. Okay, there's no more farms over there. Some of those horses look really cool. I feel bad. I feel bad, but I don't have a hoe to fix it. And I'm not gonna... Wait, yeah, I already have, I already have wood. That's okay. I feel bad, okay? You know, I, I know this is not something I have to do, but man, wouldn't you feel bad if you were you were in a, a village near your home that you're eventually going to steal all the residents and put into a trading hall? Wouldn't you feel bad if you just left their farm? Look at this. You say, what are you doing to my farm, dude? Hey, what, are you do what are you over here destroying my farm? You know what? I'm going to give you a couple starter seeds. I'm going to give you a couple starter seeds. How about that? Yeah. How about that? Take those. They're all yours, buddy. No, not you. You're not the farmer. He just picked up the seeds. <laughs> He's like, I'll sell them back to him at a price. <laughs> like they're all like, uh, I need to get some money. Yeah, you really are just gonna sell them back at a price, huh? Okay, so I don't see, I don't see any other farms in here. I think that's it. This farm kind of goes into a hole, or, or this whole village kind of leads into a hole. So that's not too helpful. But two potatoes, you can multiply them super quickly. I don't have any bone meal on me, or I'd do it. But you guys know it's pretty quick. And uh, looks like you only have one pig, buddy. I don't know what you're doing with that, but you aren't gonna be breeding. There's two pigs over here, which is really nice because I haven't spotted any pigs around here, nor have I really spotted any cows. And it's going to be something we're going to have to find somewhat soon. Oh, I thought there was a cow in there. It's a horse. The two pigs, I'm, I'm a fan of. We can at least start with some pork and can just make our way from there. Okay, I'll meet you guys back at the base. I think we got everything we need. Just going to multiply the potatoes before we start. Okay, over the bridge of dreams onto our beautiful land here. And let's grab some bone meal because that's what we're going to need. We want to successfully multiply these. Yeah, I think the palm tree looks really good. I'm excited to add more to this place. Um, only one is, you know, that's kind of out of place. But eventually there will be more, I assure you. Okay, so we'll just take... That's probably way too much. Take this and we'll take our beets as well. Might as well get some more. I thought there was beets in here. What was in here that I said, oh, there's beet. Oh, that's right. They give you seeds. I thought you planted the beet for a second. So we have potatoes, beets, and then we have all these wheat seeds that we got. I thought we had more wheat seeds, didn't we? Didn't we at some point have like over a stack of wheat seeds? Did I just throw them away? Oh, uh, we have bamboo. That's good. Yeah, I guess I literally threw the wheat seeds away. Okay, well, that's, <laughs> that's, a, that's funny. That's one way to go about it, I suppose. Just uh, throw them away when you get too many. Even though I needed those and spent a long time collecting them, but it's okay. I did it. it it's, it's in the past. Okay, so let's just make a decent sized area here for multiplication purposes. Very math driven individual I am. Okay, sorry. My <laughs> my need for, for uniformity is, is overtaken. The fact that it doesn't need to be this big. Carrots we're fine on, I think. It's generally just the potatoes that we really need to multiply. But lucky for you guys, look at that. It's like, it's very, it's like, it's exponential growth with potatoes. Like, true exponential growth. This will probably give me like 30. Oh, 21. You're lacking. Oh. <laughs> How did I break that? I didn't jump, did I? I guess in some weird way I jumped because the slab was treated like a jump. And then, 
Okay, oh, I, I forgot. I need to do this with, uh, with carrots. Yeah, 45 is fine. Go ahead and throw that out. We don't need you. I wanted to save some bone meal, but... Oh, okay, no, we're, we're actually good on carrots. It's beets that we need. Okay. I'll go grab some more bone meal and do this, but I think you guys get the gist of what's going on here. As you guys just saw there, sometimes it takes like eight or nine bone meal to do the beets. So for some reason they're just extreme. I realize now I have to go around and do this. Or I, actually, I can probably just break it by hand. That'll be quicker. And uh, just replace it back with dirt. There we go. I'm done. Hop skipping around, making those back into grass blocks. Okay, so we have to decide where we want our farms to be. And uh, I kind of wanted to build a dock. At least somewhat of a dock. Just to kind of figure out where exactly um, we want to build these farms. Because without it, without the dock, I don't really know how we're going to get there. Because they are going to be floating. So I don't think we have enough room to pick that up, do we? Nope, that's okay. We'll probably just put it back on the ground right there. That's fine. Go throw it over here. There we go. Perfect. Because um, we're going to need all this stuff to build the docks. For sure. I don't want to build it out there. I kind of want to build it out in this direction. I'm just not totally sure. Maybe, actually, no. Let's go over here. Oh, man. We have so much sugar cane. And uh, the sugar cane was never really meant to be there permanently, but it just kind of got left there. Um, I think we're going to put the farms over here. More of the utility stuff is going to be kind of over here. So this will be in front of the house, but not really. But this is like the dock. Okay, well, I want the dock in front of the house to have the pirate ship and stuff. Well, it's going to be night. So, I don't know. Let me think about it, and I'll, I'll find something and then come back. Sorry, guys. I was just taking this thumbnail picture. I wanted to show you. Look how beautiful that is. Look how beautiful our island is. Absolutely gorgeous. I, just had, I had to take a picture, and then I figured I might as well show you guys, since, you know, maybe some of you were curious where the thumbnail came from. Took a, took a couple of pictures. So, reflecting on it, um, I had to go outside let my dog outside, so I was reflecting on it, I was standing out there, and uh, I came to the conclusion I'm not going to build the dock yet, because I don't know what style I want the dock to be in, and I really don't want to, like build something that permanent and then not have a solution for you know how it's going to look again the ships are going to go somewhere in the front over here so i think off oh that's not what i meant to do sorry sugar cane i can't grab you up full on inventory space so i think the farms are going to go off in this direction which is perfect what do i see oh that's the sun in the water <laughs> i thought i saw something off in the distance i was like oh cool no that's just uh that's just that Okay, so for the farms, I want to make them circular, and I want to make them all kind of connecting. Um, I don't really know how to explain it, but I just know how to do it. So let's go ahead and just kind of build one here, and then kind of show you what I'm working with as far as stylization goes. So I'll have to break a couple of pieces of wood every now and then. I'm trying to think, if this is the corner, I need to build this on the other side. If this is going to be the corner, then these are going to go in this direction and uh, this direction. There's going to be circles. I'll build one on camera, then I'll build the rest of the circles just kind of in a time lapse or something because they're not too, too fun to watch. It's just literally a circle, but in the water. And uh, I don't know. I think this is kind of cool. You know, some nice floating circles. I don't know how the circles are floating. There's no story behind that. It's just kind of, you know, how it is because it's Minecraft and I don't have any real explanations for you guys. This is to be three on the side. Yeah. And then two. I don't know why they... Oh, I guess I could just use it like that. Two, one... And just go over two. It's just a basic circle with the the two one progression. So three, two, one, two, and then you go out three. And it's just a repeatable pattern. And if you do it in a circular-ish shape, it'll turn out to be close to a circle. You know, it's Minecraft, so you can only get so close, but you can still make something look pretty dang good, uh, which is pretty much all I'm going for here. We'll go over on the side as well. There's two more, and then just one more side. And we will have our circle. So I love that, you know, a long time ago I used to play a lot of pixel art games. And uh, that's where I learned how to make circles with pixels. Because otherwise it's kind of hard, like, you know, to just, like, imagine a circle and make a circle. And for some reason this is not going to work. What in the world? Two, one, two, three. Two, one, two, three. Two, one, two. Four! <laughs> Oh, wait a second. Oh, gosh. Okay. Yeah, so that means I have to do this. I have to remove this entire thing. Okay, hold on. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I had to, like, break it and put it back. Because, yeah. 
So this is one farm, so I'm going to fill this up with dirt. And uh, I think we might have to leave a space of water in the middle, I think. I don't know. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to leave one block of space of water in the middle. Now, this stuff will saturate from the outside, even though there's a wooden barrier. Um, but not so much so that the middle will be saturated. So we'll have to find where the middle is exactly. I don't know. Um, but this first one I want to do is beets, just because I have never really grown beets. I think I actually know that that's wrong. In my 100 episode Let's Play, uh, one thing I did do was I grew beets. And the reason behind growing beets was I wanted to make automatic farms of every kind. And uh, I made those big like waterfall automatic farms where you just have water spawn at the top and it just kind of falls down and breaks all of them. And the crops are in kind of like a you know staircase pattern like this. You know, with each of these being like a five by five area or something like that. Not just one block, I promise. And uh, yeah, we grew beetroot, grew carrot, grew everything, and uh, all was well in that world. Okay, so this is like that, and then we're gonna just put one block in the middle. And then I think for the support on these, we're just gonna go down in the middle. So, oh no. <laughs> this, okay. I didn't realize breaking wood underwater would be like breaking obsidian with an efficiency five pickaxe. Wow. I guess it's because I am floating in the air. Maybe if I put a slab down, would that make it any quicker? I wish water would come back instantly. Bring back instant water. Yeah, it's a little quicker, albeit not much. So I want to make sure and not have to do this again. Actually, no, we're probably gonna have to do this again. No, no, never mind. I don't know what I'm saying. It's the complete opposite. The complete opposite of what I just said because we we're gonna have them connected. Oh. So like diagonally, I think they're gonna be this will be one here, one here, one here, and one here. So this will be beet, potato, carrot, wheat, sugarcane. <laughs> I know sugarcane isn't grown in this fashion, but we'll make it work because I can't think of anything else. We don't need anything else unless we have two of one. Maybe two wheat. Maybe two wheat. Yeah. And I think they'll be on opposite quarters from one another. That way it doesn't look too busy. But yeah, if I can break this wood, I was going to show you. I was going to add a support in the middle just made of jungle logs. It's going to be something fairly simple. I may end up putting stairs here, actually. And the reason behind that being that if I use a stair, I can just put a log directly under it without accidentally... Well, no, 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 no. If I put a slab there, what am I thinking? The log's not going to... Hello! How are you doing, sea turtle? Came to check out the new thing. Well, uh, let me tell you, this is the most advanced farming technology you have ever seen. Would you like to come check it out? Would you? Would you? You want to? You want to? All right. And I'm gonna drown. <laughs> it's not my day. The heat just ran away. He didn't want to see it. Maybe he has some some children or some eggs over there. He's got to go check out. Um, oh, I didn't make a hoe. Okay. Let me go. Let me grab some iron and make one of those real quick. I always forget I have a door on this side of the house. Interesting. Okay, so I just made two for now, but I have enough iron. If I need to make another, I can. So tomorrow's episode, we're going to be building the interior of the house because it's kind of, well, empty. And uh, I'd like for it to be filled up with goodies. I don't really know what to put in the whole thing thus far, but I know a big area of it will obviously be, you know, chest storage because chest storage is one of the most important things in any house. Yeah, we have one fifth of it built. I have to build five more of these, and they're pretty simple to build. They're, they're pretty fun, actually. Uh, but let's just go ahead and just confirm that everything will grow here, because I don't want to build these if I need to modify it. I'd rather get one done that I know works, and then go from there. And we'll time-lapse building the rest of the circles. Uh, maybe time-lapse filling them in with dirt? I don't know. It just depends on... I, I try to stop time-lapse. I try to make time-lapses not more than a minute, uh, which means if it takes more than three minutes to build each circle, that'll be like three or four minutes. I guess. Yeah, it looks like everything. This is the furthest end one, so that's good. So, like I said, I think the... Hmm, what is the middle one going to be? Maybe it should be sugarcane in the middle? No, I said I wanted to do beet roots here. I don't even know if I have enough, though. We'll just kind of spread them out like this. The way they fill out the area. Supposedly, crops grow, quick, grow quicker uh, like this. Oh, yeah, I didn't even think about it. We're going to have to figure out a lighting for this. Maybe from the center block here, we have some fences go up uh, or something like that. That could be kind of cool. We'll have to figure that out, but it'll work eventually. And there we go. Inventory space is freed up. So this one, so this corner of the circle is right there. It's going to be touching this corner. So that means we have to go off in this direction, two blocks like that. And uh, yeah, it's basically the exact same pattern that we just built. Okay. <laughs> Not like that, though. And uh, there might be some spots where water gets kind of all messed up. 
And that's okay. That's why I have my water bucket with me. That way I can fix everything. Anything I mess up, I will always fix with water. Because, yeah, it'll bug me too. But yeah, let's time lapse it. Uh, after I sleep. I have a bed in my inventory. What am I doing? I didn't know that. I was thinking, you know, where did I put that other temporary bed I had made? Because I kind of want to have that out there with me when I'm building these. And, well, it looks like I already had it in my inventory. So nice. The only thing we have to go back for now is just some more iron so that we can, you know, build some sort of lanterns or something like that. Uh, but I think we we could probably build like one more little one more little stage here on this thing. That's connected three. There we go. Okay, now can I sleep, please? And look at that palm tree from afar. It looks like a palm tree. It really does. That's so cool. I'm so happy we have something built that makes it look tropical. I don't know what else would make it tropical if I put like some beach chairs or something down. Um, I think that's the only other thing in my brain that I'm thinking of is like tropical, which is kind of sad because, you know, that, that's like a man intervention thing. I want to see, you know, the natural tropical, maybe some tropical flower bushes, which we would need some azalea trees for. So that would be something to hunt for. And it's not exactly... Uh, hello, dolphins. Would you like to show me something? I don't have any fish to give you. Oh, they're playing with my... They're playing with my plank. Would you... Would you stop? Would you stop playing with my plank? I need that. I really... I really do need that. Can I have that back? Thank you very much. You can play with anything else, though. You want... You want some bread? You want to play with some bread? Oh, I guess not. They're not interested in bread. Sorry, guys. Okay, time lapse time. All right, well, after many, many mistakes, I messed up every single one of these at least once and had to redo it. So this ended up taking a little bit longer than I had planned, but we have all of them made. So we have the center one here, we got the beats, um, everything surrounding it. So now we just gotta fill them all in with dirt. I think this is also the fifth time to run back and forth because I ran out of iron and I uh, couldn't make an iron ax and my iron ax broke because I had to fix my mistake so many times. So lesson learned there. I knew I'd regret not bringing that dirt Dang it. So the shaders, um, whenever the sun is behind the clouds, man, they really make some beautiful looking god rays. That's what those light beams are called. It looks so good. I really do like this shader pack. I'm glad that I found it um, because a long time ago, I always thought the shaders had to look extreme until I found the uh, cylinders enhanced default. And man, they look really good. So I'm going to place all the dirt into here because yeah, it's going to take quite a bit. But don't mind me. That's what I'm going to be doing next. You're not going to miss a whole lot of it. We'll do some of it on camera, but like, okay, why am I starting on one when I'm not done with the other one? But yeah, it's just kind of a repetitive process. This is something I'm, I'm comfortable doing this with. Dude, it's just never going to end, is it? So I'm looking at this one, and I'm like, this is not right. These are four blocks long, but it, it only worked because this one was four blocks long. Are any of the other ones like this? This is three. This is three. So that one that I thought I messed up originally, you guys were probably screaming at me about because it's still not right. It's it, This is four blocks. Like, what did I? Oh, dude. What did I do? And now I can't. Oh, my God. This has been like one of the most difficult things I've ever built in Minecraft when it really, really should not have been. This should have been a very simple, very streamlined, easy process, but somehow I've still messed. I messed this one up. I, I had, I, I completely rebuilt it. Remember? Because I was, you know, <laughs> oh man, oh dude, I can't believe I just did that because it, it, it's not quick to break. For some reason, planks, I, I guess because I'm using iron tools, they still take quite a while. So this is three, this is three, and now it needs to come over for that too. 
Like this. Jeez, dude. I don't know how I messed it up so many times. I, I think it's because whenever, whenever I try to build it and I'll try to like um, do this and, 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 and for some reason I just I can't handle it. My brain doesn't do it right. So it goes two and it has a diagonal and then one, two and then one, two, three. Right? Two. So, so it goes over two. But see like right here. Oh yeah. See it goes over two. Then it has the diagonal one, and then it goes two, and then it goes three. Okay, and then two. Jeez, I was like, I was making the, the, the um, time lapse. I was like, where's the center? Because this does not look right. And yeah, it was definitely not right. <laughs> Whoops, okay, back to the time lapse, sorry. Okay, so these are all built, and uh, I think I'm going to make little tiny bridges in between them um, as far as how they're going to connect, you know, like this way. I don't really know yet. But now we get to till all of this soil, which is going to take quite a bit. I'm not even going to time lapse that. I'm just going to do it real fast. And there we go. We're done. Okay, these are all tilled. Uh, last step is going to be putting those supports and uh, adding the little water caps in the middle. Now, to connect them, again, I don't really know exactly what I'm going to do in the center. I do, however, know how I'm going to do it on the edge. And I really do think maybe I'll just remove these blocks right here or just add two blocks. This may actually be a simple solution. Yeah, maybe we'll do it like that. I wanted it to be, like, more interesting than that. But honestly, I think that's okay. You could even put some fence there and some fence there. And you would kind of have a path in between them. Not exactly what I envisioned, but it's not always going to be what you envision. And uh, did we put the water cap on all these? Looks like we did. Yep. So we're going to go down below. And uh, this thing is going to need to be supported in the middle, probably some more. I don't know. We'll, look, we'll see how it looks. If it looks somewhat sus whenever we add all the logs and all the youngins are saying sus now. Got to say sus to keep up with the times. But yeah, things are looking a little suspect under here. We might have to add some um, diagonal supports. I don't know what... Why when I hold down shift, sometimes I don't go down. I think it's because I'm swimming at that point. No, I don't have torches in my hand, so I'm sorry. It got kind of dark down here. And almost drowning. Should be one more support over yonder. Gotta eat, though. Gotta keep them bones nice and strong. But we don't die. Dolphin, you're kind of in the way. Yeah, it's because I was swimming. I get frustrated with these things in Minecraft, but it's like because I don't understand them. I don't think it's a problem. There we go. Oh, no, we still have one support over here. Okay. Oh, I have the dolphins... The dolphin's grace makes you swim ultra fast. I was like, man, I'm really zooming. I don't have that aqua affinity yet. I think that's what makes you go faster underwater. I don't know. It's, it's aqua affinity something like that. And there we go. Looks pretty supported to me, actually. And they're floating, too. They just need some anchors, I guess, more so than anything. They really shouldn't have supports. They should kind of have, like, anchors going off to the sides. But, yeah, I'm happy with how this thing turned out. Um, just making sure everything's okay, because, you know, I'm kind of paranoid now because of the mistakes that I had made. And I don't know exactly how we're going to do the, uh, the little bridges. I'm going to try putting some, like, slabs here. And then maybe just doing, like, you know, a log or something like this. I mean, again, I don't really have any plan for this. So we're just going to have to kind of wing it. Hope it turns out pretty good. And maybe do three in the middle there. Something like that looks pretty cool to me. And then, of course, maybe a log going that way. Yeah, that could be it. Cool. Maybe we should have the logs all facing outwards like that. I think that would look a little bit better. I Man, we really got to sleep. And we also have to deal with the lighting here because there's well, an absence of lighting. So if anything were to spawn, it would definitely spawn around these farms. So we got to be kind of careful. Yeah, that, that looks okay. It's not exactly what I had envisioned, though. I'm thinking maybe if I took some... St Ooh, we can take our time with this, though. Hold on. Take my time here and make this thing look nice. Wait. How did you die? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Was that a dolphin that died? I don't think a dolphin... How could a dolphin have died here? What, what would have killed the dolphin? I don't know, I guess dolphins do drop cod when they die. I just don't quite understand how they died. That's okay. I mean, I, I can't, like, prevent every death, but I, I wish I could have prevented that one. That was easily preventable. I just don't know what happened. I didn't react quick enough, guys. So maybe something like that. 
give it some more depth. Yeah, and then off to the sides here, we could do some trap doors, potentially. I like how I'm just experimenting, but I still built 20 trap doors. Oh yeah, these ones aren't facing outward yet. Okay, go ahead and add that. Shut those off, shut those off. Now, if I'm walking on this and I'm running, is this gonna... Wait, did I even put the slabs on this side? Wait, why is this leading all the way to the... Cr this thing's centered, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so paranoid about everything being centered now because of that one mistake. Oh, I'll never let it go. Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to build that in between all of these. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, well all four bridges have been built and uh, they look pretty good. This thing looks pretty cool. Um, it's definitely not the usual farm that I make. I just want to make sure that like I can't break the crops falling off a half slab, right? Like right? It's not going to break it ever. I don't know. We could run around in a circle and talk and figure out. But yeah, I don't know where I'm going to put all the crops yet. I think we're going to do two things of wheat. I just think that they're going to be like separated by... Like a diagonal, or they're going to be separated by the middle for sure. I don't want them adjacent to one another. So we'll go over on this side and then do some wheat over here as well. So just like this. Make sure we have enough to fill it in somewhat adequately, okay? And then we're going to plant the potatoes over here and then the carrots. So that is all fine and dandy. I don't really know. Oh, <laughs> I'm starting eating one. I don't know where I'm going to plant sugarcane. Um, I'm going to need a more permanent spot for it for sure. Um, I just don't know exactly where that's going to be yet. But I'm sure somewhere close to this because I don't want to have these farms too segmented from one another. But yeah, this looks pretty good to me. I'm happy with it. Again, we're going to go get some lighting done for this thing because, yeah, that's not going to be so great if we don't have any sort of lighting. We're not going to be able to see anything. <laughs> and the crops can't grow half the day. But usually I skip the night. I'm pretty good about sleeping in hardcore. In normal survival, it's like, yeah, whatever. If I die, I die. I'm not so worried about it that I'm going to, like, make an effort to run to my bed every single time it gets dark. And then, obviously, at some point, we'll have a dock here, too. But, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So, let's go grab some fences made of jungle wood. Maybe some cobblestone walls. And then some lanterns. Should be good. Okay, well, we can now put up the extra dirt without feeling bad. I think it was in this chest. Yeah, that's where we'd put it, but it doesn't really matter. And, yeah, we don't have very many ingots. I'll use maybe half of them for this. I don't know how many lanterns that'll actually end up being. Now i got to take these out of my hand. I don't actually know. And I, can I do it like this? Let's make it quicker. That's 23 lanterns. I'll bring the rest of our iron with us. Uh, we may have to go mining on Wednesday again, Wednesday's episode. Oh, wait. I didn't even realize we had that. Okay, well, we don't have a blast furnace, but we can make just a normal furnace and put it right here. Again, I don't know exactly how this whole interior is going to go. We're going to have to figure something out. It's tricky to build interiors in places like this because, you know, if you have something against the wall, the glass connects. So you got to be kind of careful. And uh, the only thing that doesn't connect is like chess. So that usually means you have some more centered pieces. So like something like this. And, uh, you know, you could have some, some blast furnaces, some smokers, and then maybe like a chimney going up since this is kind of in the middle. Who knows? There's tons of stuff you can do. There's tons of stuff you can do. I may actually leave this here. Um, just how do you make a blast furnace? How do I make blast, blast furnace? That's not, see, I don't know why it, it just doesn't work. The, the whole crafting thing in Java has never worked. And someone said, well, Neo, it's cause you haven't discovered, discovered the ingredient. Is it like, is it smooth stone or something that I haven't discovered? Is that what, is that what it needs me to like, I guess, discover? I feel like it's either smooth stone or something. I don't remember. There's some ingredient in it that I'm not thinking of. And I don't know if it's smooth stone or double smelted stone. I really don't remember, but it's, let's at least put the smoker over there. So I'll remember that. And then we'll do some sort of chimney going up the center or something like that. That could be pretty cool. Be a pretty cool centerpiece for this whole, uh, oh, this isn't in the center. <laughs> Well, whatever. We'll, we'll leave it here and then we'll remember to move it over, right? Something like that. 
Okay, so I probably have enough iron. Now I just need some cobblestone walls. And then what is the next step here? Some cobblestone walls, we need some fences. Now we still have a ton of extra jungle wood. Like we're not running low on jungle wood in any way, shape, or form. So we're doing okay in that regard. So I'm not too, too worried about that. And I don't think I'd made any jungle fence before. So I'm gonna just start from scratch here. Yeah, no, we're full, we're full. Showing craftable. Jungle fence. That's three stacks of jungle fence. Surely that'll be enough, right? I'm sorry if you can hear the lawnmower in the background. It's starting to become mowing season somewhat soon. I haven't mowed my yard yet, though. So I got my first house. Or, or my first house. I got my house in July. Um, I bought it. I was 23 years old. I think I was... It was either 23 or 22. Is it bad? I don't remember. And, uh, yeah, I was pretty proud of myself for buying a house that young. And it was possible because of YouTube. You know, I started working when I was 14 and never really stopped. And uh, it's been awesome, but that's besides the point. I'm not trying to like toot my own horn. What I'm trying to say is that um, I thought that the you know mowing season was kind of hard. You know, it was pretty long. And then my dad was like, "Well, that was only like pretty much half of like a season, like half of a mowing season, because you know usually um, you mow from like you know late April to I don't know sometimes the beginning of September in Oklahoma. So you mow for quite a while, and uh, I really enjoy mowing. I feel like I'm the ultimate like." <laughs> example of like a suburban dude. I want to start a family soon. I'm getting married soon. I have a fiance now like dude It's pretty cool This is also not tall enough because I don't want to bang my head on the lanterns. Actually Let me see because the reason I'm doing it like that Hmm, yeah, because that'll mean it's low enough for the cr if I go up another I'm afraid that there's not enough light is gonna reach the ground. It's just not my favorite design Trying to see if there's anything I could do to like spiff it up a little bit. Maybe put some. Yeah, actually, that's actually yeah. It just needed something like that. Okay, just means we got to burn through a whole lot more, uh, <laughs> a whole lot more planks here just to make these dang things. They take. Oh, actually, I don't need that many. That'll be fine. Forty-one will be fine. Okay, I'm gonna sleep. I'm gonna build four of these, four extra of these, and I'll be back in a second. Well, all right, guys. I think this is looking pretty good. Um, oh, I guess I can't put fence up there. I was trying to think, you know, could I put some fence anywhere else around here? Maybe I could put some right here or something. Um, I guess that would make the bridges look... I don't know. Like, they have more texture, I guess. Almost looks a little out of place because there's nothing on them. Maybe we could put something on them. I don't know what. Uh, maybe some... Maybe a leaf or something. A flower pot with a flower. That actually could be pretty cool. We just need to get some clay. Let's do that. And then we're going to call it a day. We're going to call it an episode because I think this thing looks pretty snazzy. I really like it. I'm happy with it. And uh, I hope you guys are too. Now we have some sort of renewable source of food. We'll just have to come back there and kind of sporadically plant it whenever it grows. Here's some clay right here. We only need four per bridge. There's four bridges. So we're going to need 16 clay. Hopefully this will gather 16. That... <laughs> exactly 16 clay almost a little too good to be true i'm not sure i'm kind of skeptical oh yeah it's 16 times three because we need it's three clay per pot so we need a little bit more that's okay that was kind of cool that we needed 16 the game's like oh you need 16 here you go dude no problem you're 16. okay i threw out my old rickety shovel it was almost dead anyways we have a stack of clay and then 52 so i'm pretty happy with that amount should be more than enough to add a few pots into here as well because I want to have a lot of stuff in here. I want to put some shelves atop here. That's something I'm going to forget to do, so I'm honestly going to do it right now because I just had this idea pop into my head. But that is all tomorrow's episode that we're going to be doing all this fun stuff. It may even put it a block down. I really don't know. I don't have any like particular methods of what I want to do just quite yet. And this one, I might need a little bit more. So let's see if we, if we take this out. Okay, so that gives me new recipes. Uh, we'll see if one of those new recipes is in fact what I was hoping for and I do not have as much clay as I said at all Never mind. <laughs> I thought I did but whatever uh, Let's see. Do we have the blast furnace now? Okay, so like it's like it's like like let me search like minecraft blast furnace Like let, let me see what the actual recipe is Thank you Siri for opening the minecraft wiki for me uh, so you need Iron and double smelted stone. That's what you need for it. 
Yet, for some reason, the game is like, no, 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 no. You can't know these things yet because I have iron and I haven't smelted stone twice, which I kind of get, but it's like, come on, dude. Uh, but anyways, let's just wait for this stuff to smelt. It'll be a little bit. I'm going to put up some of this wood because, oh, we don't need all this wood. Uh, we're going to have to, you know, next episode, guys, we're going to have all this stuff sorted because we'll actually have a chest room. And then I think on the Wednesday episode, we're going to go mining again. I think that's how we're going to do I guess Wednesdays are going to be our mining days because we got to go. We only have 27. Like, all we have in the whole world is literally this this uh, 27 iron ingots, and that's not too good. Maybe we'll shoot for getting a couple of diamonds. I'm not going to, like, prioritize diamonds, but I wouldn't say no to some because, yeah, we're running pretty low. I think, oh, okay, we have 21 in there. So so that's more. That That's a healthy amount, but it's not enough. Not enough at all. So if I take this out, yeah, now it's like, oh, yeah, dude. Now you know how to craft the blast furnace. Just like this little hood of iron, and you got a blast furnace. I love blast furnaces. They're pretty cool. I am going to fix the centering on here because this, this if, if we want it to be centered, we might as well just make it centered. So we'll go over here with the smoker here. I'm going to break all these furnaces. Which ones are working? I don't want to break the working ones. What are you guys making, though? Well, they're making more of that. So pretty much all of them are working. At least we'll know kind of where it's going to go now. There we go. Something like that. What are you barking at, buddy? There's no one here. Come here. Shadow, come here. Shadow, come here. He thinks there's people at the door sometimes. He's very defensive of our front door. I think he sees a man lawn mowing his yard. <laughs> and uh, that's unacceptable. We're not going to be doing any mowing in front of the boy. Okay, so let's see. How much... We said we needed 16 pots. Definitely don't have 16 pots. Now, you can't multi mul multiply flowers like you can on bedrock. Like, you can't put this on the ground and bone meal it. You can do it with two high flowers, but that's the only ones I know of that you can do it with, which is really kind of odd, but that's how Java is. Uh, so, I know this is kind of controversial, but I wanted to incorporate more wood types into my building than just having oak everywhere. And that kind of means I need to switch all of the trapdoors on the outside of this build to be jungle trapdoors. And I know some of you guys are going to be like, are you serious, dude? Yeah, we're going to waste a lot of wood to make a whole lot of trapdoors just because I want this thing to have more jungle wood. I was debating kind of randomizing the roof. And what I mean by that is kind of putting a random amount of the jungle on the, on the like, like mixed in with the oak planks, oak half slabs, I guess, but some planks too. And I wanted to kind of mix it in and maybe that would make it seem a little bit more tropical, I guess. Because, yeah, I don't want to use just oak wood and cobblestone. I recognize that's what I use a little bit too much of. And uh, it almost seems like every season's kind of the same. I just build with different materials. I tried to use, you know, some jungle wood out there on those jungle wood farms. And I think I accomplished something, you know, a little bit different. I'll do one side on camera. We'll do the other off camera because, yeah, that's a little, uh, a little boring to watch. We'll place them from the bottom. No, we're not. We're going to place them from the top. I like how that little uh, little handle looks from the bottom. There we go. Looks much better like that. So place them from the top of the block. If I can remember that, it's not right. If I can remember that, then we'll be good. We won't have any missing trap doors. No missing so far. Or none missing so far. Sometimes I just don't use good English when I record. I get to a point. I've been recording for quite a while. It's already 7.48 p.m. And uh, I have two more episodes to go, which is fine. Like, I, I, I'm excited for the interior episode. I was excited for this one. And then I started building the farm. And I just kept messing up and messing up. And I don't know. The frustration builds. So hopefully you're not going to mess up the interior. I mean, it's kind of hard to mess up when you're just kind of freestyling an interior. Which is exciting for me. That's what I used to enjoy the most was designing the interiors of my builds. I used to really enjoy that. And there's our 16 pots. Okay. So let's just sleep real quick. We'll put up the extra bricks. And I might put up a few things. Because otherwise, you see those jungle... That jungle wood looks a little out of place. I don't want to use, like, the same material that the roof is either. Like, that just looks even weirder to me. Um, but yeah, let me go do the other side here. Then we'll go back. We'll finish that circular farm. Call it a day. And then I will see you guys in tomorrow's episode where we're going to be doing some fun interior design. Oh, and while I'm thinking about it, I am going to put a trap door in the corner right here. There we go. That way it looks like it's nice and flush. Okay, so the trap doors are done. And I'm debating whether or not I want to use just like all blue orchids for that farm. I think I am going to use them, but on the inside, I'm going to need to go get, gather some flowers in tomorrow's episode because I want to put a variety. I don't want just like one flower type. So, 
yeah, that's gonna be that. I think to make these a little bit better, oh, I wish I had that on me. That's okay. We can craft another one. It's all good. Do a nice little, uh, nice little crafting table right here. Sure, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna put some slabs on top of those. Um, on top of those, I don't know what there are, light posts or something like that. The lighting for the farm. I'm going to add some light posts on top. Or some slabs on top. Why can I not use words correctly anymore, dude? What happened? What happened to my words, dude? Okay. There we go. Just to spruce it up a little bit. It's nice and lively. It's already very living and, and lush, but this will just kind of add a little bit more to the whole effect of that. And make it look even more extreme. There we go. I think that looks very, 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 very pretty. Very pretty indeed. Good job, Neo. Oh, gosh. See, I don't... It, it makes me uncomfortable, like, in real life, if someone were to call me, like, Neo or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, that would be weird. If someone called you your in-game name, how would you feel like? Well, how do you feel like Panda Inverted XX? How are you feeling today? <laughs> if that's someone's username, I'm going to be surprised. I feel like it could be. But, yeah, I want to add just a little bit of something to the top of this. So, just come over here. I have to break a crop or something. Something on top of there, just to add a little bit of pizzazz to it. Because I feel like the flat side, top, the, the top of it is too flat. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now we just have to do that on all of them. And there we go, some nice little bit of rain to finish out the episode. So if you guys enjoyed the episode, I really do encourage you to subscribe. That way you don't miss future episodes. It's going to be about four a week, which is a lot. But I'm doing it for you guys because I love you guys. And, uh, you know, it's also my job. So it's good for me. And it's good for you because you get more content. And uh, the way I record these is a little bit, you know, slower paced. I do a little bit more in each video, and uh, or, or a little bit less in each video, but I show more of it. So I end up, you know, you guys get better content, arguably. I think it's better. Um, and I've had, a, you know, the majority of the people who watch my channel regularly say that it's better. So I don't know. Maybe it's not your thing, but that's okay. You don't have to subscribe. Uh, but I would appreciate it if you chose to. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. The secret code for today's episode, but you don't know what that is, like if you're new to the channel, it's basically a random series of numbers I give at the end of every video because only about seven, six to seven percent of you guys actually watch it until the very end, like watch through the entire thing. So if you did that, first of all, pat on the back and thank you. Second of all, put the secret code down below to confuse all the people who just come into the comment section. They're like, what is that? Uh, so yeah, secret code 3809. And if you wouldn't mind leaving a like, I would appreciate it too. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow's episode. Interior design time. Bye!